Hello Squadron, this is your commander, Mr. Everything, and I brought you here to Cassava Outlets at Port Olisar to show you what you need for the 1NAS uniforms. Now this is just the initial uniform. The, init the uniform will grow, it will change over time as more clothing becomes available, but right now this is what we're expecting. Well, let's go inside and let's take a look. Hey Joe. Just bringing in the recruits to show them the uniforms. Alright guys, come on over. Now we're going to start with the shoes first. Uh, the uniform is, as you know, 1NAS is a UEE Navy uniform, so we will be dressing as Navy officers. So take a look at the Kalur shoes, and we're going to be using the Kalur temporarily until we are able to get different shoes. But right now we're using a Kalur, and we are using the white white color. Let's go ahead and equip these. Let's look at equip now, confirm purchase. All right, so we've got the shoes. Now we'll take a look at them real quick just so you can kind of see what they look like. That is the white shoes. All right, so now let's move on up the leg to the pants. Okay, we're going to, guess what? We're going for white, dress white pants. And we are going to come around the corner here to where we find the Escar white pants. Let's go ahead and Scroll down to buy. Escar. Embody the Escar aesthetic of casual comfort with these classic pants. Ideal for lounging. Ideal for errands. Ideal for you. That's that's us. Confirm that purchase. And we can exit. And then we can take a look and see what that looks like. White pants white shoes. All right. Now we're going to go to the uh, t-shirt next. Now the t-shirt, no, we are not grabbing the white t-shirt. We're going to be looking at the Bellow uh, City Lights. It's a uh, black with a red stripe on it. Uh, that is our undershirt. And that is... A stylish t-shirt featuring a dynamic as asymmetrical white line across the front. That's not true. It's red. The long sleeves. What? There's no long sleeves. Feature a lighter fabric below the elbow, making it a versatile piece of cooler climate. Okay. Well, that's obviously the wrong text for that shirt. Okay. So, let's buy it. Let's take a look. Okay, so now right here we've got the black shirt, white pants, white uh, shoes, and then the final piece is the jacket. And if you notice, I'm not wearing a hat. Uh, none of the hats are proper. They're not military style hats. They're just baseball caps. You can wear a hat if you want. Any color. Doesn't matter really. Uh, the colors will actually help us identify who each of us are because right now we're all having the same face. So when we go to uh, the jackets, you're going to be looking for the Rhodes white. Okay, and the Rhodes white has the little uh, hash mark there. Uh, one of the reasons why um, we're going with the Rhodes and not the uh, Shelby is the Shelby is unbuttoned, and that's not a very good look for a military unit. And we're not going with a Sturgis because they're almost always looking a little leatherish, uh, or you know, more, I don't know, um, less duty uniform looking. 
So let's go with the roads. You're looking for white, and we go ahead and buy that. Oh, that's a preview. And you notice it's a little off-white. That's another reason why we need to change these uniforms as we go. But as you also know, these are all temporary. Uh, you will get wiped from time to time in the alpha. So just temporarily, this is us. Let me get into the light so you can see what this, or maybe on the steps, hey, maybe that'll work. Uh, and that way you can actually see what this thing looks like. Okay, so we're completely white. Now, they can't get a white hat. If we could, we would have. They have a really light gray hat. Um, you're, you're either going to see me in no hat, or I might have a red hat. So, uh, let's take a look and see how that would look. Because I do own a red hat. And a brown hat, too. Everybody starts with a brown one, I think. And there you go. One NAS in its glory. Okay, so now let's go on over to the uh, flight suits. We're going to take a look at the flight suits. Again, guys, uh, to get your flight suits, you need to be heading on over to Garrity Defense uh, on Port Olisar. Or if you're at Arcor, you can head over to the Cubby Blast because they'll sell you a flight suit there also. So let's go on in the inside. Now, uh, there's a couple of considerations when we're buying our flight suits. There are a number of different flight suits from the traditional one that you start the game with up to a gray one, which is a very nice looking navy gray. And then you've got the, the blue and gray, and the blue goes really well with our uh, squadron scheme and the red out trims. Uh, and then you got the marine armor, right? And the marine armors technically is where we want to go. We want to head towards the medium armor. If you can afford that, get the medium armor. Uh, but until armor values are actually implemented in the game, there's no real need to do that, okay? Um, also, uh, the, the color scheme on the medium armor isn't what we're looking for. I mean, it's got some green and grays. That's great. But uh, for us, we're looking for the solid blue, as you can see in my bottom left-hand side of the screen. Okay, so now we're not going to go with any of these. Uh, one of the reasons why we are going to pick a specific flight suit is because when we are doing first-person combat, or if we're engaging on a space station, and we see a guy uh, hiding somewhere and we don't know if he's friend or foe because he's at a distance and the, and the augmented reality hasn't popped up to let us see what he is. We kind of need to know like who he is before we pull the trigger. So one of the options was to pick uh, the red suit, right? And I've, this is, I've gone through this uh, in my head. You know, I can pick the red suit. It kind of tells us, it, it kind of fits along with our, with our scheme of things. But the problem with the red suit is, at a distance, it still looks dark, especially in the shadows. It's hard to tell if he's a, it's hard to tell if he's a, a, a outlaw or not. Uh, it kind of fits in with the outlaw scheme. So we want to try to avoid that. And because there is a white suit, and that fits great in with our uh, dress white uniforms. That is where we want to go. You can easily identify this as a teammate in a heated combat. So when you see a guy run by with a white suit, you say, oh, that's teammate. Now, if the other team has guys that are in white, at that point, we might uh, reconsider, you know, or try to have another way of identifying how people see us. But let's take a look at this white suit. Let's go ahead and try it on. Looks pretty good. I think I like it. Right? Thrust pack, thruster pack and everything. 
Uh, explore the stars in supreme comfort with this RSI Odyssey flight suit. Cutting edge materials provide lightweight protection against vacuum and light environmental hazards while also featuring anatomical stretch paneling to ensure the perfect fit. So let's scroll it down to buy, hit F. Uh, you will get a helmet and a jetpack with this purchase. And it's not expensive, it's only 3000 AUEC. So let's go ahead and get that. got suspension places for your Moby Glass uh, wristwatch. It also has uh, a holster attachment location for you to carry your sidearm and for your rifle it has uh, at least four magazine harness uh, areas. Plus if you notice on the left side you do have uh, two med pens in case of injury. Uh, the helmet is wide view so when I go to first person you can see uh, there's only a very small portion of my cheeks and a very small portion of where my mouth is that is covered I have full visibility so this is awesome and it affords quite a bit of flexibility okay so you can actually uh, if you're needing to sneak, you can definitely do that. And if you need to actually go prone, you can do that too. All right. And you're going to be able to maneuver around with uh, no problems, really. If you need to roll, you can do that. This is an awesome set of armor. Alright guys, that was Mr. Everything with the 1NAS uniforms as we speak. New uniforms will come online and those will be brought to everyone's attention. Uh, but right now, this is where we're at. So, thanks for coming out and checking out this video and be sure to get yourself equipped.